What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Koa and you are watching Koa Kicks. So I'm really excited for today's episode because we'll be taking a look at one of my all time favorite Yeezys, the Yeezy 500 blush, and it's coming right up. All right guys, so the Yeezy 500 blush is back from 2018. It just restocked on February 19th. 2022, which was almost exactly four years after its initial 2018 All-Star Weekend release. Now the retail price on these was $210. Yes, that is $10 up from the original price of $200. And unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna be paying $10 more for all of our Yeezys across the board. These did release via raffle on the Adidas Confirmed app or adidas.com in other countries, as well as Yeezy Supply and a select few other retail outlets. However, I took that confirmed L this time around, so I had to hit up resale and I got this pair right here on the secondary market from GOAT. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this unboxing. All right guys, so here we have it right here. Now it actually looks like my box was damaged in the shipping process. This is actually the first time I've received something from GOAT and the box was a little damaged. It's not a huge deal, it's not too bad, but it is a little bit disappointing nonetheless. Anyways, we've got our standard brown Yeezy cardboard box with the numbers 500 written on the front. The size of this one is plain because this one doesn't feature any boost. Over here you have Yeezy 500 made by Adidas and here we have our sizing label Yeezy 500 made by Adidas and the colorway is blush, blush and blush. Anyways, let's go ahead and open it up and get our first look. The Yeezy 500 blush, also known as the original Desert Rat, is instantly recognizable for its futuristic dad shoe aesthetic and neutral monochromatic coloring. The upper of the shoe combines premium materials in mesh, suede, and leather in subtly varying shades of tan. A subtle addition of reflective 3M detailing further adds to the layering effect of this shoe. The midsole, which opts for adiprene over the softer boost technology, features ovular shapes reminiscent of basketball shoes from the 90s. The oblong outsole features the exact pattern found on the KB83 model once worn by the late great Kobe Bryant. By staying true to Yeezy's earth tone palette and future Ford style, the Yeezy 500 blush remains one of the most wearable sneakers produced by the Three Stripes brand. All right guys, so here we have it, the Yeezy 500 blush in hand. And what I gotta say is my first impression out of the box is that this is a very, very nice shoe. I just, I love the Yeezy 500. I love the shape of the shoe and I especially love all of the different layers of materials that you get with the 500 model. You have that premium suede as well as the cow leather and the mesh underneath all of that. As far as the colorway goes, it is a little bit lighter than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a little bit more tan, a little bit more beige with some rosy tints to it. Instead, what you get is a very light gray looking sneaker with some tan vibes, some off-white beige vibes to it. I did want to actually compare these to another Yeezy 500 colorway. I've got over here the taupe light colorway that we got last year. And now people had said that this one was very similar to the blush. But I couldn't confirm that until I had it in hand. Here you can see them side by side next to each other. And as you can see here, the taupe light is a much darker colorway than the blush is. In a sense, it's kind of the blush dark but they are very similar in vibe. You probably don't need both of these in your collection. If you want a darker shoe with more khaki vibes to it, then the taupe light is gonna be your best bet. But if you want a lighter, more off-white type of shoe, then the blush is your best bet. Personally, I prefer the blush pair and I think I'm probably gonna be getting rid of my taupe lights. Anyways, let's go ahead and try these on and get some on-feet looks.
All right guys, so let's talk about comfort and sizing. Now, while the Yeezy 500 model is not quite known for its comfort to the same level as the Yeezy 350 or the 700 models, it is still an exceptionally comfortable sneaker. The reason why it's probably not as comfortable as maybe the 350 or the 700 is probably down to the fact that this model doesn't have boost in it. Now, in terms of sizing, if you've never owned a Yeezy 500 before, I think you'll be fine if you go with the same size as your regular Yeezy size which is probably half a size up that being said if you have wider feet or if you just like a little bit more room in your toe box because the toe box is a little bit shallow on these you may want to go another half size up all right guys so let's take a minute to talk about resale so prior to this restock resale prices on this colorway were insane I'm talking about like 500 600 dollars because this is an OG colorway you know those resale prices sometimes get pretty crazy crazy. But when news came out earlier this year about how we might be getting a restock of the blush colorway, I feel like prices have been steadily coming down since. And now you can pick up a pair of these blush 500s for anywhere between 250 and 300 US dollars, depending on your size, which is great for an OG Yeezy colorway. If you missed out on these from the restock, right now is a great time to go to resale because the prices aren't too bad. As far as resale goes, I don't think this is a quick flip it might take a while for prices to go back up there so this does make for a great long-term hold I believe any OG Yeezy colorways make for great long-term holds. It just depends on how long you're willing to hold it for. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below how you're feeling about the Yeezy 500 blush in 2022. And do you like the whole monochromatic look on the Yeezy 500? Or do you wish we got a little bit more color blocking like we did with the Inflame 500s? Anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. Once again, my name is Koa and you've been watching Koa kicks. I'll catch you guys next time.